going to give a quick um, overview on how to use Microsoft Excel um, in conjunction with Microsoft Word to create a list of address labels. Um, so document number one will be your Excel document. Um, the most important thing with your Excel document is to make sure that you have all of your columns set up and that they have a name. So for example here we have name, address, city, state, zip. Um, the row does not need to be bold. I just put it in bold for purposes of this video to kind of draw attention to that line. Um, from there, just be sure, add in all of the addresses that you want. You know, maybe you're going to be sending Christmas cards or invitations, um, and certainly having them in an Excel document speeds things up from manually typing them in or handwriting them on address labels or envelopes. So once you have your document set up, um, just be sure to save it. Know where you've saved your file on your computer. And then we're going to go into Microsoft Word in order to go ahead, set up the mail merge, and to print the list of labels. So once you're in Microsoft Word, you're going to, now I'm in Microsoft 2007, so older versions do not have the ribbon at the top. So you'll have to, if you're using an older version of Microsoft Word, you'll have to get to the mail merge um, in the fashion from your toolbars necessary. So 2007 and probably 2010 and 11, um, you're going to come up here to mailings. Then you're going to use the mail merge wizard. So start mail merge. And we're going to create labels. All right, um, in this case, you're going to choose your various label options. Um, Avery 5160 happens to be the most popular address label size. Um, so that's why mine's already set up for this. Um, if you're not 100% sure, you can certainly, you know, use the measurements off your package of labels and compare it to these here. So we're, anyhow, we're not gonna get into label options. We're going to skip or we're going to say OK here. And now on our screen, you'll see we have the little visual um, guidelines to indicate to us where the addresses are going to fall within the labels. So we have this part done. So now what we need to do is we need to tell this document to find the Excel document that we just set up so that we can pull the names and addresses from the Excel document into this label field. So we're going to tell it to select recipients, and we're going to use an existing list because our list already is saved on my computer. So up here at the top, this is going to say all data sources, and just navigate to wherever the Excel document is that you saved. All right, I have <coughs> my file. And in this case, just leave everything as it is. This here just is indicating, yes, the first row of my data does contain column headers because we had my name, address, city, state, zip. Click OK. All right, so the sheet now puts in this next record. Um, next record basically just means the next address um, list or line, I should say, really. Um, so really the next line from the Excel sheet. But we still need to go ahead and put in our column headings, the name address. So we need to go up here to insert merge field. So the items that show on this list are exactly what I have shown as my column headers in my Excel sheet. So we're gonna go ahead and hit name, hit enter. So you can go down to your next line hit address, enter again, city, um, in my case I want to have a space in there, state, another space, and zip. Okay, so we have label number one is set up and ready to pull information in from the Excel sheet, but what we need to quickly do so we don't have to manually do this over and over is get this on the other 29 labels that are showing up on this sheet. All you need to do is click update labels 
and voila, your entire sheet is ready. I would go ahead at this point and I would save this document. Essentially, this is just a template, Microsoft Word, that's going to now merge the information with what's in Excel. So we're just going to go ahead and save this. So now we're ready to finish and merge our information. So now we just come over here, click Finish and Merge. And we're going to, hmm, interesting, edit individual, I believe, in this case. Ah, perfect. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So you can say all if you want. Now let's say within your Excel document, you only, maybe you have a thousand lines of addresses in there and you only want to print the addresses from line 30 to line 60, for example. And in that case, you could just put in the actual line items that you'd like, the from and to, but you need to subtract one, and the reason you're subtracting one is because the very first line in the sheet that we set up has the column headings. So if you use the from and to, and in my case I'm not going to because I only have three records, but if you use the from and to, just remember to subtract one. This case, again, because I only have one or three test things set up, I'm just going to go ahead and click all. And like magic, it has come into the template that I designed and saved on the desktop. If I had way more, obviously the rest of the page would be set up, but I just threw a couple of fake addresses in here for the purposes of this video. So that's how easy it is to use Word in Excel to create mailing labels.